When you see someone practicing with sticks, it's really just a representation for a sword, right? Some practitioners have this mindset and so when they see someone doing something that wouldn't be practical with a blade, like grab the opponent's weapon or clipping the weapon under the arm, they think to themselves that the technique is wrong. And they're right, sometimes. But sometimes the stick really is just a stick. The truth is, there are many styles and systems of Filipino martial arts and the paradigms of each one could differ in ways both drastic and minor. Some are blade-based, some are stick-oriented, and some do both. The stick is indeed a representation of the blade in certain systems. And when these systems train, they visualize the blade and operate the Arnie stick as though it was a sword. But in other systems, they treat the stick as the weapon itself. And so they operate it like a blunt force impact weapon rather than an edge impact weapon. And some schools do both. They study stick fighting and sword fighting and use the stick to do both. Or to make it easier, they'll use a replica sword to distinguish the two. While there are those that assert that training with sticks will allow you to fight with a sword, in my opinion, these are separate but related practices. There are attributes that overlap, but proficiency with one thing isn't necessarily proficiency with the other. You still need to practice it separately. A stick and a sword have different weights, different characteristics, and different effects. Whether or not you use the stick as a substitute for a sword, the movements and dynamics might change depending on what you assume the stick is representing. So basically, the stick is really a sword, except when it's not. See you in the next video.